All right, so we're at the airport, um, just outside of the airport in the cell phone waiting area. I'm going to be driving through in just a second here. Um, today, pretty sunny out. Uh, so hopefully the cameras aren't going to be overexposed. Maybe I'll add a ND filter sooner or later, but I'm using two GoPros. One's going to be mounted on the top of my car and the other one is inside. This is the one that I'm talking to right now. Um, they're both Hero 8 Blacks. Uh, image stabilization is pretty good on them, so hopefully this won't be too jittery, but let's give it a go and Hopefully my audio holds up. I'm using a separate recording for my audio. And the only thing I have to worry about is that I'm driving a manual car. Talking while driving is a little bit tough and talking, talking while driving a manual car is even more difficult. So this will be interesting. I'll also figure out if uh, my car is too loud for this. I might have to use my wife's car because hers is a lot more quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so much construction going on at the airport right now. They're trying to redo the rental car space which has classically, classically been pretty bad here at the airport. Now they're trying to consolidate everything into one parking area, which hopefully turns out good. Anyways, let's get going through the terminal, through arrivals. I'm kind of doing this just mainly because I guess people that are coming from outside of Hawaii, which they won't be able to come in up to Hawaii until after August, kind of sucks. But for people coming from outside of Hawaii, this is kind of like a, a good view of where you would go and how to get into Waikiki. It is empty. So this is the arrivals for Hawaiian Airlines, or I guess you would call it inter-island, the inter-island terminal this turn over here but anyways so I mean if you're a Japanese tourist you'll most likely be coming out of international over here off to the right all the other domestic airlines drop off just east of the international arrivals area Everything at the airport is outside, which is, I guess from a tourist perspective, it's kind of nice, but if you're from here, it's just really hot. Even the main concourse on the inside is all exposed to the weather. I think they repaved over here. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of nice. Random stop in the middle of the road. Well, this might be kind of boring, so I might have to fast forward through it, but. You know, <laughs> it is what it is, and I gotta kill time today. I didn't wanna be in, be stuck in the house all day. So I am actually, we're gonna be getting into H1, but I'm gonna be taking the longer route to get into Waikiki, just cause it's more simple, even though it, take more time and more traffic lights. So leaving the airport.
H1. Yeah, really nice day today. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be rainy, but I guess not. My coins stop rattling. So we could take H1 into Waikiki, but we'll just follow the signs for Waikiki and then it's highway. We might hit some traffic, but whatever. It'll be interesting. Hopefully. <laughs> That's a big tire in the road. Ooh. My goodness. The person behind me just ran over it too. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, Governor changed uh, the 14 day quarantine time period. It was supposed to end at the end of this month. Now he tentatively pulled it back to the end of August, which that's going to be a nightmare for some people, especially people with jobs in Waikiki, because that means they can't work. Well, obviously, if you have no job, you can't work, right? But a lot of places in Waikiki have been like shutting down, not even just Waikiki, like the Ala Moana area, you know, not doing so well. I think unemployment rate is something like 22.6% right now, which is crazy because at the beginning of the year it was like get into politics though. I don't want to even go down that tunnel. That's just a mess. Green light. Maybe we'll get lucky, we'll get all the green lights from now on. That would be something. <laughs> Nico's is coming off to the right, so I haven't been there in a while. You like fish? If you like fish, that's a place to go. And here's the traffic. It's picking up a little bit. It's not too bad. We're kind of just before rush hour and the road is really bumpy. <laughs> but yeah, we're just before rush hour, so it's not, not too bad. It's still moving. 
Well, rush hour has been different lately just because I guess people are working from home more often and not commuting to work. So you don't have a lot of people going back and forth on the highways or roads, which is kind of nice, to be honest with you. Switch lanes. At this point, I haven't seen the video from the outside of like the point of view from the top of my car, so I'm wondering how it's turning out. Hopefully it's good, and hopefully I set up the GoPro properly. Oh, we're hitting some construction again. Oh. Uh, you know, I think everybody, when they talk about their own city, they're, they're, people will always complain about like construction being endless, and there's always somewhere being like torn apart and fixed up again. But I feel like <laughs> maybe, like maybe Hawaii is just always doing construction. But wherever you're from, I'm pretty sure it happens the same way too. I guess. I know LA is pretty bad. The DC, Northern Virginia area is pretty bad too, typically. Now, if you're watching this video, wherever you're from, let me know how the traffic is in your area. <laughs> is it, or even the construction uh, work, is it pretty bad where you're from? It always feels like somewhere is under construction in Hawaii. And I hear it happen. Oh, okay, it's on the other side. Thank goodness. Not to mention, Hawaii has some of the worst roads in the nation, I think, you know? I mean, just look at it. Potholes, patches. Uneven road. Wow, that car just <laughs> almost dove into the neighboring car. I just gotta look at the front end of that car too. It's not looking good. It's pretty smashed up. So, Ooh, I don't know what that says about that driver. Now with the whole corona situation too you know reopening tourism here it's not a black and white issue you know I mean like on one end people need their jobs but on the other end people don't want to be dying from you know this virus I mean, especially unnecessarily you know if you can prevent it by just staying away from people wearing a mask socially distancing yourself from other people, you know. But I don't know, how do you balance that 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 issue, right? You can't have an economy if there's no people, but you can't you can't live if you're not making money at the same time too. I think I read in the news recently too that Oahu, like Hawaii has the highest cost of living in the nation, right? To begin with. But Oahu, it's specifically, I think it said that to make enough money to rent a two bedroom home and live comfortably in Oahu, you need, you need to be making something like 38 point something dollars an hour. Which is, which is crazy because the minimum wage in Hawaii is ten dollars and ten cents or something like that. About four times that amount. So if you need to, if you need to uh, make a living in Hawaii, you need to work four jobs. Is basically what it's saying. 
at minimum wage or two jobs at double minimum wage <laughs> which is it's crazy isn't it? i mean that's a little crazy when you think about it it's kind of ridiculous like how do you how do people live in hawaii how do people uh, the other question is how do people like have kids and live in Hawaii at the same time too, you know, like to, to have a kid is already expensive in the first place and then you're adding the cost of living in Hawaii on top of that my goodness <laughs> We're almost into Waikiki. We're just about to pass all of shopping center that wasn't that, that, that wasn't that long actually. We hit, we, didn't, we hit a couple red lights back there, but it didn't take too long. Let's move over to Mumber Lane. I didn't even think we were going to get this green light. It stayed green for a long time. Anyways, here we go. We're in Waikiki, I guess, officially. The west end of Waikiki. I remember when I was a kid. Man, Waikiki looks so different from then to now. Like it feels like, especially when you're on the Kalakaua Avenue here, on that main drive with all the expensive high-end stores, it feels like like a knockoff version of like Beverly Hills or like Rodeo Drive, you know? And for some people, that is like, that's Waikiki. That's what Hawaii is, you know? I'm saying you know, Han. I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop saying you know. <laughs> you know? But yeah, like people's version of Waikiki, if you're not from here, is this. Instead of like, you know, open beaches and mountains and less buildings and condos. Hilton Hawaiian Village. I don't know if it reopened yet. Maybe it did. It's definitely empty. see st people staring at my car, I guess, because the GoPro is sticking out of it. The car is already bright red. And now it's got a GoPro, like a like an antenna. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, look at this. There's like nobody walking around. I'm so used to seeing me. Japanese tourists, you know, on foot, walking around everywhere over here. Even trolleys and tour buses, too. There's like none. Which is kind of nice because those trolleys and tour buses, man, they make a lot of traffic everywhere.
Yeah, if you see this video and you're not from Hawaii, what do you think? I kind of like just driving around aimlessly, looking at things, checking out new places. Does this interest you? Hopefully it does. Because <laughs> it gives me an excuse to get out of the house. Yeah, if you're not from here, are you going to be coming to Hawaii when the quarantine period, I guess, ends? Some people think traveling right now is a little scary, which, is, to be honest with you, it kind of is. kind of is. Can't deny the fact that people are getting sick, you know? Stores are open. Well, some stores are open. There's no customers. What do you expect, right? No tourists, no customers. People staring at the GoPro. Smile for the camera. <laughs> My favorite coffee shop is actually in the International Marketplace up ahead on the left. I shot some video for that, but I think I need to redo it because the audio wasn't too good and some of the video came out a little bit messed up. Kona, Kona Coffee Purveyors. It's going to be on the other side on Camille Avenue. Water looks nice today. Hopefully that shows up in the video real nice. And we are at the east end, I guess you would call it. On Waikiki. This is Kapalua Avenue. And all the like the main attractions kind of end right here. You know, right at the zoo. We have the aquarium up on the right. Maybe like a half mile from here. But that's pretty much it. Just by you looking at people walking around, you would figure that there's no like pandemic going on around, you know? Things are going kind of as normal as they could be when things are total opposite of that. But hey, you know, people gotta get out of the house. You go crazy if you stay in the house all day. But yeah. Hopefully, uh, you guys uh, watch this video and I'll keep making some more videos of me driving around. It's kind of fun driving aimlessly around like this. But until next time, peace.